With the 8th generation of gaming consoles coming to an end, it's easy as fans to inflate our imaginations as to what could be in store for us in the next generation to come. Since we're just a few short months away from the launch of Microsoft and Sony's newest consoles, we can expect to be spoiled with information about them later this summer. However, Xbox only just recently underwhelmed slightly as their hyped gameplay reveal event didn't exactly show anything people haven't already seen before in terms of graphical quality. We've seen excellent standards as of late in terms of the games that we've received over this past generation. So someone watching the live stream over a 1080p television might fail to say what these consoles could do for them. So that begs the question, what is so next gen about the next generation? No, 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 God damn it. What SSDs has shown us in the recent past is that you can't just rely on your GPU and CPU specs to give you the best overall gaming experience. An immediate benefit of using solid state drives is simple, faster loading times. Implementing a solid state drive into the next generation of consoles will make it so that you can hop into your favourite games quicker than ever before, meaning you'll barely have to deal with loading times at all. So say goodbye to 5 miller elevator rides in your favourite RPGs. They're so annoying. Nvidia revealed ray tracing to a stunned audience back in 2018, impressing the world over with their demos of AAA games such as Battlefield 5, a game already renowned for its ultra realistic presentation, and turned it up to 11. With realistic reflections, global illumination, and an increase in polygon counts. The technology was rightly championed by the PC community, who had the power to support the future, and all console players could do was just look and sigh. But with new hardware comes new capabilities, and ray tracing has been confirmed by both Sony and Microsoft for their consoles. And with updates coming to titles who support Microsoft's smart delivery program, we know that we can expect even the games we've already purchased to look even better post-console launch. CD Projekt Red made it clear in their tweets that they don't believe anyone should have to buy the same game twice. And so with their upcoming first person AAA action title Cyberpunk 2077 releasing later this year, if you bought it once, you own it. And as if in support of this, multiple third party developers have also confirmed the previously mentioned smart delivery feature as being a part of their games so that everyone in every generation can play. It seems like the trend of remastering a game from a previous generation, whacking a new lick of 1080p paint on it and chucking in all of the downloadable content just to turn a profit might hopefully become a thing of the past as Microsoft and Sony have been very open about the capabilities when it comes to the new console's backwards compatibility. With every console generation comes a controller adaptation to accompany its machine. Sony and Microsoft have both went their own respective routes, with one opting to innovate what they've stayed true to for decades, and the other taking the, if it ain't broke, just tweak it philosophy. Haptic feedback, impulse triggers, and a precision D-pad will be a part of both controllers this generation, giving gamers a far more intuitive experience when drawing a bow or accelerating your supercar down a fast track. USB-C connectivity is now a feature of both controllers, with Microsoft also opting to have a Bluetooth capability where it can connect and remember all of your devices, including Macs and PCs. And of course your Xbox. With the industry seemingly obsessed with discussing the possibility of AK gaming and 120 FPS refresh rates from these new consoles and beyond, it's easy for customers who haven't necessarily spent a pretty penny on a decent enough 4K television or monitor yet to feel like these products just won't be for them at launch. In reality, only a handful of titles might be able to hit those kinds of targets, but will likely be at a cost of pullback on the game's overall graphical presentation. With this in mind, Xbox will be adopting the solution they created for the Xbox One X called Super Sampling. PlayStation also came up with their own solution in the PS4 Pro's Boost Mode. Improving game performance and giving their player base choice as how they'd like to experience their games. 
time to see what's next. Next Gen is taking on a different meaning today. We're not seeing machines evolve to be 10 times as powerful as their predecessor anymore. Atmospheric enhancements like Sony's 3D audio, ray tracing realistic reflections, and faster loading times making an open world feel more alive is what is helping us define this fall as a launch point for a new generation. It's just up to the developers and how they choose to utilize their new tools. Gaming services like Game Pass and PS Now, as well as future looking initiatives like Xbox's xCloud, signify that this generation will be defined by innovation not only through improved hardware, but customer support and software as well. In evaluation, the new consoles are taking everything that people know from the PC with its power, ferocity and boundless potential and shrinking it into a bite-sized, simple, powerful box that everyone can find a little less intimidating. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please consider giving it a like, subscribe to the channel, and share any thoughts and comments you might have with me in the section below. And I'll see you again soon.